The U.S. Air Force has revealed more on its sixth-generation fighter jet, the centerpiece of its next-generation air dominance system. The jet, which is poised to replace the F-22 Raptor, will be a multirole fighter, according to USAF Chief of Staff, General Charles Q. Brown Jr. at a House Armed Services Committee. The Air Force boss, testifying on the fiscal 2022 budget request yesterday, said the fighter jet's primary role will be air dominance, but will be able to strike ground targets as well. The sixth-generation fighter will have some air-to-ground capability to ensure, one, that it can survive, but also to provide options for our air component commanders and for the joint force. Brown also said the NGAD fighter will have increased range and weapons load compared to the F-22, which will allow it to operate at the great distances required in the Indo-Pacific region. These details match the concept art that was recently published in a USAF biennial report for acquisition, which suggested a larger blended wing airframe compared to the F-22, which would give more room internally for a larger weapons bay and fuel tank. Air Force Magazine has reported General Mark D. Kelly, head of Air Combat Command, has said there may be two variants of NGAD one with long range and payload for the Indo-Pacific and one more oriented to the relatively short ranges between possible battle areas in Europe. NGAD is described as a family of systems, with a sixth-generation fighter at its center. Last September it was revealed that the fighter had been designed, developed and tested in the space of a year and flown. USAF's top acquisition official, Will Roper, said at the time, We've already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator in the real world, and we broke records in doing it. We are ready to go and build the next-generation aircraft in a way that has never happened before. NGAD is described as a family of systems, with a sixth-generation fighter at its center. Last September it was revealed that the fighter had been designed, developed and tested in the space of a year and flown. USAF's top acquisition official, Will Roper, said at the time, We've already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator in the real world, and we broke records in doing it. We are ready to go and build the next-generation aircraft in a way that has never happened before.